coming off the loss, but even within that, what confidence maybe from the way they were able to overcome that four game uh, losing streak to kind of give them confidence to overcome this one? Uh, what can we, I didn't hear the very first part of that. What can we learn from it? Is that what you said? Yeah, just as far as, you know, you're able to, to rebound off of, you know, four, yeah. losing four games, what gives you confidence maybe about how they were able to respond to that, you know, coming into tomorrow? Yeah, um, what our girls are made of. I mean, our, we have a great group of girls, and they're resilient. Um, they're competitors, and, and um, you know, and, and they know that there's a lot of basketball left, and, and they're winners. So they, they want to bounce back, um, you know, every game is a challenge um, and we knew it was going to be um, and so I know that they will you know regroup and gather themselves up and um, find a way to win again um, you know we certainly can't hang our heads um, because of it. Coach what's something you could take away from that first meeting with West Virginia I mean you guys you know kept it close the whole time and they were coming off of a huge win against uh, Texas. Yeah well, we really battled. Um, you know, we, we battled as a team. Um, we played really well together. We were very aggressive, um, and I, I really liked how we attacked. So, um, you know, I think our kids know that that they can fight, and um, when, when they fight every possession, they have a, a great chance to win and to be in ball games. So they'll definitely have to come um, out of the gates ready to, to battle um, from the tip, we can't dig ourselves a hole. We can't wait to get started. We, we can't panic. We're going to have to really battle every possession and be really, really strong in transition defense and, and rebounding. That's going to be two areas that um, are, are definitely going to be keys to us staying in the ballgame. Speaking of rebounding, Maka seems like one that has been steadily improving in that area. She's also one that you kind of mentioned when you first got here. What have you just seen from her in terms of you know, the leader you knew she was as opposed to now, not only being a leader, but, you know, everything kind of showing up in the uh, stat sheet as well. I think she's understanding her role and she's buying into it and she's taking a lot of responsibility on the things that she can do to help us win. Um, we've really challenged her to, to get active on the boards. Um, you know, she she's very aggressive, very quick. And when she can save possessions for us, that's a huge um that's a huge role for someone to fill for us, and, and she's doing it really well. Um, I think she's creating some um, energy, obviously, off on the glass, and then also just um, in transition, some things like that. Like her, just her ability to get to the realm is, is really good. And, um, you know, I, I, she probably would think that um, – that I'm never satisfied because every time she gets it, I think she should be able to get to the rim. Um, but that's a, I mean, I think that's a great compliment to her and something that she can continue to help us with moving forward. Coach, in terms of that bench production that West Virginia got in y'all's first matchup, that hasn't seemed to be something that's happened in any of their other close games. How much do you balance looking at that as an anomaly versus something that you need to now like spend time physically preparing for? Well, we got to know when Carson steps into the game. I mean, when she checks into the game, she she has not lit it up since the game that we played in, in but, you know, she came in and and um, and performed her role. And, and, you know, that's the thing about the Big 12. Um, you can try to take away as many, you know, options as you'd like, but others – should be able to step up and, and at times you know you have to decide what are you trying to take away and who are you willing to roll the dice with and um you know she happened to be one of them that came in and, and really hit some big shots for them uh we'll definitely pay close attention to her because she will remember her success against us and i'm sure that will fuel her to want to play well again West Virginia was another one where you guys were able to take away a bunch of their big weapons. In that second matchup around, do you keep it the same or do you try to switch it up under the understanding that they might kind of know what you're trying to take away? Yeah, I mean, I think you have to have adjustments. I think you have to have counters. Um, you know, we're not silly to think that they're just going to look at that film and go, oh, well, you know, uh, what we were doing was working and so we'll – just keep doing it that way. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we're looking at things that we could have done better um, because even when we took those kids away, we gave up other areas. So, um, and I would say too that they probably think that those kids just had an off night, or you know, or um, or just weren't as locked in as they should have been. Um, so, you know, we'll still have to 
to battle that and, and continue to try to limit um, people's touches. But I don't think you ever go into a game um, – with the same exact game plan. I mean, because that's the thing about when you win, um, you think, okay, hey, we don't have to make many adjustments. And that's why you see so many upsets the second time around. And even though we didn't win, we were successful in some of the things that we did. Um, but we're going to have to do a lot of things better. Coach, after uh, Saturday, you said you kind of needed 24 hours to assess everything. What, what did you kind of come away from that loss with that you'll maybe take into tomorrow? Yeah, frustration. I mean, frustrated for our kids and frustrated that we let a win get away from us. Um, that I think that we were in somewhat control of um, before the fourth quarter started. Um, I think we stopped defending, which is disheartening because we did a really nice job in the first three quarters of really defending them well. Um, we didn't execute late in the game like we had been. I thought in Kansas, we were tougher in some situations offensively and found ways to finish. And I felt like because it wasn't as easy um, for us, you know, to, to execute late, maybe fatigue, obviously TCU, what they were doing to us, um, the pressure of the game, whatever it might have been. Um, I just don't think that we executed great. So I, I hope that we will develop some mental toughness and, and move forward and learn from that and that you have to close out games. And we definitely didn't close that game out. And, um, and, and I think that our kids are, are heartbroken because of it. Anything else for Coach? Vivian Gray has been incredible all season long. Um, is she kind of, I guess this would probably be a better question for her, but just from your perspective, is there a frustration there? You know, like she's performing so well and other players, of course, chipping in too, but just, you know, wanting so badly to turn these games into wins. Oh, no doubt. I mean, she's a winner through and through, and, and she's certainly not a kid that's, satisfied with she played well but the team lost so it's okay like she's not she is not um put together that way in any manner um she's used to winning and winning at a high level um and she I think she bears a lot of that burden herself and and not from any of us um but I do think just because of the player that she is she does take a lot of responsibility with that no matter what her performance is um you know I know her teammates really want to step up around her and and they have been in 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 games, in certain games, um, but there's no doubt that this is a a team sport, and everybody on our on our team and on the court, on the bench, whatever it may be, coaching staff too. We all have to bring our best um, effort and, and and just best mindset every single game, and know that um, you know not only do we have to help her score, she obviously tries to help us score as well. Um, but we've all got to do our parts and and do it together. In terms of, I mean, I know obviously take it one game at a time, of course, but in terms of, you know, looking at the postseason, how important will it be to get this one over West Virginia in terms of maybe, you know, seeding for that Big 12 Conference tournament and just kind of getting this uh, series split? Yeah, I mean, I think every game is important. I mean, we, we let one slip away at TCU. Um, and, you know, I would say that we did the same thing against OU here. I mean, clearly um, you want to win games at home. Um, and that's that's important, and I think this would be a huge win. We have another opportunity to beat a top 25 team uh, as West Virginia entered the top 25 this week. Um, so it certainly um, could play a, a big portion um, and a big part of our postseason opportunities. Um, but as you've seen, it, does, it doesn't matter who we're playing. Every single game, we have to come out and be prepared. We have to have purpose, um, and we have to play really, really hard and execute um, to be able to get those wins. So um, tomorrow's a big game. I mean, you know, all of them are big in my eyes. Coach, um, talking about that top 25 ranking, it, it's hard for kids sometimes to, to take to not see that number next to the team's name when they play them. After a tough result the first time you played a ranked team against Baylor, how big was it to then get closer results against West Virginia and a win over a ranked team in Texas to kind of get that confidence that we can hang with those types? Yeah, I mean, I think it's huge. I think it says a lot about our mindset. I think it gives you a lot of confidence that, um, and really just kind of backs up what we've been telling the girls anyway, and, and even what Lady Raider Nation's been telling them. You know, they're a good basketball team. Um, they have a lot of good pieces. And um, when they when they all put them together and, and play really well together, um, we can we can beat some teams like that. So um, I think it's important for where we want this program to go, um, that we can't shy away 
from opportunities to play teams like that. I think it's great for the Big 12 um, to have teams in the top 25. And it's, to be quite honest, it's great when teams in the Big 12 beat top 25 teams in the Big 12 um, to show the parity. So, you know, that's where we want to be. And we've got to continue to battle against teams like that to be able to get there.